So how many of you have seen a lot of these lately? Or you're in raid and a lot of one of your raiders just keeps getting this. Just every other pull, someone's crashing in the raid. And it seems to be getting worse and worse, especially lately. But we're not alone in this issue. This is a major issue that's plaguing World of Warcraft and other games right now. And has to do specifically with Intel 13th and 14th gen processors that have a, basically a factory defect in them that required not one, not two, but three BIOS updates to fix. I did just a basic search on the forums and I found this thread, this thread, this thread, and all these threads. Probably hundreds of people having the same crash. It pretty much looks like this. Access violation. Reference of memory couldn't be read. And then it re references a D3D12 core. And if you're not sure if that's the error you're getting, because maybe you closed the error so many times, but good thing the game keeps track of that. You go to the game's folder, it'll look like this. Your main World of Warcraft folder. Now on Windows, it's going to look a little different, but this folder structure is basically the same. Then you'll go into like retail, click errors, and here are a bunch of all your recent errors. Open your latest one, and you might get something like this. There's the Intel crash. It generally looks like this. And it usually ends with a bunch of apps, but not always. But apps in chat for real on this one. You'll see a crash like this, and you'll see the magic words, the access violation, memory couldn't be read, usually the apps, and a reference to D3D12 core. And then a bunch of extra debugging information, like what add-ons you're running, what settings you're running, and then symbol is, symbolized uh, debug down here that Blizzard can actually diagnose. Now, I actually sent this crash log to Blizzard, and they did symbolize it. And they confirmed without a shadow of a doubt this crash was caused by the, a bad BIOS for the Intel 13th and 14th gen processors. And they also told me it's getting worse because of the amount of users out there who have not yet updated their BIOS. That's why I'm making this video. It is critical that you become aware of this issue and if you're crashing or know someone that's crashing and it's this crash, you get on top of this ASAP because if you wait too long, even if you update your BIOS, your Intel processor is so far gone that it needs to be RMA'd and replaced. Now, the good news is Intel is honoring that. They know they screwed up. They screwed up royally. But they're owning it and they are, they are RMA'ing it without question. If you install the BIOS update and you're still crashing and you contact them and say, hey, I installed your update and I'm still crashing. They will straight up ship you a new CPU. And then you'll just send them back your old one. Now, granted, you have to swap it yourself. And if you're not the PC builder yourself, then you're going to have to go through your, the manufacturer that made your PC. So whoever that is, you contact them and they'll probably be able to do an RMA process. But again, they're all going to say one thing first. Did you update your BIOS? So let's dive into that. What's going on with the BIOS updates? But first, the backstory of this. Something was amiss. They started noticing the CP Intel CPU processors going bad. Lots of articles about it. You can Google it. I'm not really going to read this to you because it's a lot to take in. The main post you need to see is this one right here from an employee at Intel, where they basically identified root cause mishandling of voltages on the CPU. And they released three updates. The first update was in June to address one of the issues. The next update was in August. And then they issued a final update for a lot of the vendors in October. And some vendors don't even have a third update yet. Like even now, some of the vendors are still on the second update. If you don't know how to check the microcode version and you're not absolutely sure you have the latest one, which is at the time of this video, 12B, then you need to keep checking until you have 12B. In addition, they also link to a tool here, an Intel processor diagnostic tool that you can run to actually check your processor or instabilities. Now, this one's not a super thorough, it's like some third party tools, but if you want to be extra thorough, you could do something like Cinebench revision 23 or something and run additional tests with that. And I recommend running both the multi core and single core if you run that tool. But this tool right here is from Intel and it's free. So that at the very least, you should run this to test your processor before and after the BIOS updates and make sure everything is working. The way it should. But this is a serious issue. And the problem here is if you wait too long, even if you install the update that corrects the voltage irregularity, 
it won't correct the degradation your CPU might have suffered by having irregular, unstable voltage for a year plus or however long you've had your CPU in operation. And it also depends entirely on whether you have a strong cooler, a stock cooler, a stock clock, an overclock, what your motherboard is, because some motherboards overvolt more than others, etc. So it's the issue affects people way differently depending on how long they went without the BIOS update and uh, the sum total of all their other parts. But this is an issue that you need to address ASAP and you need to tell your friends to address. If you have an Intel 13th or 14th gen CPU of any type, you update your BIOS ASAP. In fact, in general, I always recommend people to keep your BIOS up to date because things like this happen. But this issue is real and it's, I guarantee, until awareness is spread more, it's not going to go away anytime soon. There's going to be new threads popping up, crashing repeatedly. This, one, this one's back from back in March. This one's from 10 days ago, though. And it's not just World of Warcraft. If you've watched your favorite streamer crashing every time they're compiling shaders, it's this issue. Or your, is your own game crashing when you're compiling shaders? It's this issue. This issue is causing a vast majority of the crashes right now with gaming and performance applications in general, if you're running these CPUs. I want to stress, this isn't the only crash out there. Many, there's many different types of crashes for many different reasons, but this crash is definitely one of the biggest right now. And it's something you can address via a BIOS update. And if it's too late, an RMA. So make sure you take care of this. And thank you for watching my channel for these kind of tech updates and uh, PSAs that keep all of you playing World of Warcraft stable and smooth. Please subscribe and like, and even leave a comment. Let me know if you're having this issue or if this video helped you diagnose and solve this issue. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.